Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome back on this beautiful day. I hope everybody is feeling wonderful. You have not let anyone steal your joy, my beautiful collective, on this beautiful day. I've already prayed over our space. I'm looking for something, my beautiful collective. I've already prayed over our space, my beautiful collective, and I've cleared it of all negative energy. My beautiful collective, we're just going to get this read on the go. I hope everybody is doing wonderful. I thank you for all your support and for being here, my beautiful collective. My beautiful collective, I shuffled, and what came out was the lover's card, the temperance card, playing games, and damage. I'm talking to two people in a committed relationship, a bit, if not a very close relationship. And there's one person in this relationship who feels like they have to be the one to uplift this connection. There's an imbalance, my beautiful collective. So somebody is trying to bring a balance into this connection as well as uplift the relationship. Someone is having a lot of patience with the other person. But somebody feels like somebody is playing a whole lot of games. And this person could be damaged. For some of you guys, you knew this going into the relationship. This person explained to you that they were damaged and broken. And you felt like you could handle this by uplifting and having patience with this person. But at this particular game, you think this person is playing games with you. And they may be out having fun with somebody else. And you're really not sure about this connection. There has definitely been a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion, a lot of fighting. A lot of blocking back and forth. But somebody is trying to set up some kind of boundary. Somebody is a little more serious than the other person in this relationship. Because you feel like this person is still hiding some things. There are some things that are hidden and you're still trying to get to the bottom of perhaps why this per person is damaged and broken. And this may have something to do with their family. Can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be something very... Horrific that could have happened to this person that has this person damaged and this person has trust issues with the magician card in the reverse. You definitely feel like this person can be manipulative and playing games, a lot of mind games. And because this person may be playing games, you don't want to feel like they, they're wasting your time. Look at this. This is somebody you have a really close relationship with. Or you felt like you had a close relationship with. Ooh -wee. 
this person is offering very little. This person can be very immature. And very irresponsible when it comes to their spending habits. With the justice card in reverse, my beautiful collective, something is definitely off balance. Somebody may feel like they are being unfairly treated. Even though you were delivered by the hand of God, this person does, does not know what they're getting, how much value they're getting in you. Sometimes the most high just I'm talking to somebody who feels like this person has backstabbed them, deceived them, walked all over them. I could be talking to a king of wands or about a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But somebody is definitely tired. But somebody is feeling stuck. Like they don't do not want to make the wrong decision when it comes to moving on. We have a King of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody may really have their shit together where the other party is laughing. <laughs> Hard to understand. Oh, yeah, with the Knight of Swords in reverse. My beautiful collective, somebody feels stuck. And you definitely feel like somebody is playing mind games with you. Whatever actions you are wanting to take, you're being stopped. You're being shut down. And at this point, you feel like somebody is definitely stealing from you. Whether it's your time, your energy, your personal possessions, you just feel like this person is very sneaky. Mm. Okay. Well, at this point, some of you guys have thought about some things for a minute and you've gotten clarity and you're ready to put this situation to a rest because you, at this point in time, you are ready for things to turn around in your favor. And with the King of Swords, <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Somebody is ready for the truth and ready to cut this shit off. And that's a masculine energy. They have gotten up out of their feelings. They're tired of having patience with the bullshit games. Oh, my beautiful guys. And you ready to move on with your blessings, my beautiful. My beautiful collective, you ready for a whole new beginning. Yeah. You guys were just waiting for the right sign. For some of you guys, you're just tired of hanging around, waiting for this person to get a sign. 
or a new perspective on things. And the Most High say this is the truth. You guys have gotten mental clarity about the truth of the matter. And you ready to stand in your truth and cut the bullshit out. You don't give a damn what damage this person is or how attractive <laughs> this person is. And that may have been what you were attracted to. This person is beautiful. This person gave you butterflies at one particular time. And you thought it was somebody that you were really manifesting. Again, we have to be careful about who we who we um, share our energy with, because be, because some of you guys could have felt like this was your perfect match. This person was beautiful. But at this time, you got you ready for a separation, or you may be in separation. I had to walk away to find what I deserved. And you guys have gotten mental clarity. And you ready to cut this shit out. You losing your own sanity trying to deal with this person. And the rejection. This person could be hot and cold. Yeah, your rejection has been a catalyst for change. So through all the game plan and the bullshit that helped you guys separate, you were tired of getting rejected. And at this time, you guys have no regrets. <laughs> you have no regrets. This person may come to you and tell you how they regret the things that they should have done but never did. But at this point, you have no regrets at all. You now know this is not your perfect match. There is you is not enough help in the world you can give this person. This person had you feeling restricted. They had you all in your head. You felt like you were confined. And this person feels like they're restricted and confined by their circumstances. You said they don't have shit to do with you. You tired of holding on to things that no longer excite you, my beautiful collective. Because there was definitely an imbalance. Finding balance between giving and receiving with the balance card. Again, remember the temperance. Somebody is definitely or was definitely trying to bring balance to an imbalanced situation. You had a lot of patience with this person. And for some of you guys, you have been divinely guided away from this situation. You guys are being protected. You no longer are willing to chase this person. Chaser. Yeah. At one point, all you wanted this person to do was feel your love, but you're tired of chasing. You see right through this person's superficiality. This person could be a shapeshifter. One, minute, one day they're this, and the next minute they're that. They don't know who they are, but you, this person is definitely, definitely damaged. And in order for you to bring a balance to your life, 
You had to start moving secretly in silence. I'm moving in silence. Things will change soon. And they absolutely will if they haven't already. And once you make that move, miracles are going to start happening for you guys. Point blank, period. It's time to change your situation. You guys are tired of feeling shattered and broken. All up in your head. Confused. Mm -mm. You definitely want to do this. And hopefully children are not involved in this situation. Unfortunately, this person's heart was not really open to receive your love offer, my beautiful collective. This relationship was hot and cold, on and off. And at this particular time, you guys have chosen to choose you. This was a karmic love. This was a relationship meant to teach you a lesson. This love is too painful to keep holding on, my beautiful collective. Anything hot and cold. You feel like this is just an empty stage of love. You're doing everything by yourself. I feel empty. Point blank, period. It's too many differences. Too many differences, my beautiful collector. And just the fact that this situation is hot and cold. The most high is saying move on. For some of you guys, you could be thinking about traveling. And you never know who you may meet on a trip. But at this time, you tired of chasing a runner. Point blank, period. Point blank period, my beautiful collective. You guys have gotten mental clarity on this situation. You did everything that was possible, but this person is playing games on a, str on a strength that they are broken and damaged, my beautiful collective. God bless you. Mwah! This is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and Gods. And just know... Once you end this, you're making room for new love offers to come towards you, my beautiful collective. Thumbs up this video on the way out if you didn't on the way in. God bless you. Please be safe out there. And hit, the the, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, my beautiful collective. We are growing. We are trying to get to 350. Mwah! And then we'll continue going upwards. Take care, my beautiful collective. God bless you.